very rarely did, does uh, Hustlers Convention get mentioned in the annals of, you know, what emerged from it. It was a full moon in the middle of June, in the summer of 59. I was young and cool and shot a bad game of pool and hustled all the chumps I could find. To gather around young people while I balance the scales on the roots of rap and the ancient tales. If you don't know the roots from the trunk of the tree, you won't know the branch of what the fruit will be. You got to first understand the surrounding mystery of rap in relationship to so-called history. History is distorted, so it ain't all there. So let's examine the truth so we can clear the air. Father of rap. It's a cornerstone in the development of what is now a part of global culture. So I thought I'd nonchalantly mention the Hustlers Convention taking place. Once people see that piece for what it actually was meant to be, is is timeless. It helped the guys who actually, actually made it. It helped me. On the subway! The last poet's name was up here on the Apollo. The standing ovation. He was the voice of the people in the streets. Boom, 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 boom. We want freedom. That was the last poet's. What has remained and what has changed? Ladies and gentlemen, please. Put your hands together for the last poets. I always give him credit for being the major blueprint for what we call hip hop today. Because all we had was the music, and in the music was our hope. Not only was it our hope, it was part of our communication. Okay? I mean, he's probably one of the greatest rhyme poets in, in, in history. It had cost me 12 years of my time to realize what a nickel and dime hustler I had really been. While the real hustlers were ripping off billions from the unsuspecting millions who are programmed to think they can win. <laughs>